Alright guys, I'm up here in a very small attic. This is a system I installed uh, last year. We actually had to tear this wall down in a little area that I'm in. But we had to put an Armstrong unit in because of the area. Some water in a pan. What are we here to do? Pretty much all of it. Um, I gotta figure out why it's backing up. And then I gotta screw that stupid SOS switch out and get the water out of there. My guess is <clears throat> it was uh, running for quite a while to develop this kind of you know nastiness on the bottom of this pan. I was probably doing this for a while and uh, going out this secondary drain. <sighs> Just waiting for my helper to bring up my PVC cutter. I'm going to blow it out. Hopefully that's what it is. Alright, let me unscrew this SOS and get the water out of there. <clears throat> I know this is working because the complaint was um, system blowing warm air outside not working and the water wasn't quite up to the top or near the sensor. But that should have caught the water a lot sooner than I figured this out. I'll know more once I cut this thing. My helper gets up here. I'm a long ways away. Anyway, this was a challenge. Um, like I said, we had to rip, had to rip this complete wall out in this corner in this corner everything out to get the old one out and a new one in ah. wasn't, wasn't pretty it wasn't fun but me and the boss man got it done I'm still waiting my helper is talking to the customer it's a family friend of his father but originally his, uh, the boss man got the call saying, go over there, check it out. I think the SOS is uh, malfunctioning and put in, remove that one and put in a secondary drain one. So that's why I brought this with me. But as they found out, it was a different scenario. I need that cutter. It's holding me up. Got more light now, guys. Blew her out.
Well, I blew it out. I poured some water in it. It's taking it, but I'm having my uh, my partner go down in the basement where this goes to. He's gonna call me when he gets there, and then I'm gonna pour more water down. Just had to be 100% sure. Um, when I did blow it out with the gallo gun, I didn't really feel much restriction. So I just I just want to be sure that this thing's draining. It's a uh, it's a really cool day. I got the air running, but it's not compensating too much. Put the door back on, so I lost my light. But whatever. I'll let you know what I find. Um, to record this driveway. I'm gonna be the first person to see. Are we waiting? Um, I'm recording the driveway. What? I'm recording the driveway. situation over there was, like I said, it was a family friend that we did the install. Family friend of the boss, um, my boss. Um, pretty uh, pretty confident it was just a line blockage, but when my um, co-worker went in the basement, um, it's a pretty, pretty long line that goes down the middle of the house and then goes into the basement runs along the wall, a couple walls, he said probably around 100 feet, and there's a belly, being that the pipe is old. Uh, so I explained it to my boss, and uh, we're going to go back there and cut it where it comes through the basement ceiling and rerun it um, in the springtime, uh, being that it is now the second week of September, and they're not running their air. Or we're going to do it if we uh, don't have any other calls to run. But that's the deal over there. Um, I know that didn't happen just recently due to all the sludge and stuff in the bottom of that pan and the condition that the pan was. We built that pan and uh, 
it was brand new when we put it in, so it shouldn't look like that, and that doesn't occur in, within a week. So, explained it, and uh, we'll address it. So that's that's it for now. Um, that long driveway, well, actually. That long driveway, that, that was to the customer's house. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's pretty tough to get back there with the, the, my box truck, or box trucks that we use. And uh, it's pretty long. It's in the middle of nowhere, and it's pretty cool, though. It's a, it's a log cabin house. It's nice. Um, but in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I, I hope you guys liked. Um, I liked... Uh, I wanted to show that more or less not the issue or the resolve of it, but the um, the install that we had to do. Um, the day that I was there, actually it was two days. It was just me and my boss. Um, it was in the beginning of the summer of actually we put it in in the winter. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't warm out, but I just want to show you that, that what we did and the tight situation that we were in, and it wasn't a fun day or two days. So, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.